first and foremost, I want to apologize right off to my subscribers for not being as frequent uh, in making blog entries and videos lately. Well, to put it lightly, I've been very busy lately, and not just on tech issues. The Lord has moved me to look into something that has me very excited, as it confirms that not only is the latter rain about to fall, our King Jesus is to come a lot sooner than most ever realized. In fact, many of the remnant church members have been blessed recently with a new and even stronger sense of urgency than we have had the last 10 years alone. The latter rain is very soon in coming, and of course, Christ comes shortly thereafter. All the puzzle pieces are finally being gathered, and the full picture has become quite clear to God's obedient remnant people. That all being said, I am currently working on a sermon regarding why we have seen all that's happening in the last few years, as well as what's being planned by our corrupt leaders in government, as well as in the churches. I will be sharing the sermon in the coming weeks or months. I'm not sure as to when the Lord will allow it to be shared as I await more light on the subject as we speak. But suffice it to say, I will share some of the points with you now that have been revealed thus far that paint a picture that clearly says we are much closer to our Lord's return than anyone alive has ever assumed. What's happening now has never happened before. So here is what I have outlined for the sermon so far. And no, I am not, nor will I ever set a date for our Lord's return. All I plan to do in this coming sermon is to share what prophecy says will happen and what current events have already confirmed have happened, as well as what the corrupt leaders are planning to have happen later on. And so, biblical history shows there was 2,000 years from Adam to Abraham, 2,000 years from Abraham to Christ, and then 2,000 years from Christ to our day. As Bible students, we know that Christ predicted in the Good Samaritan prophetic parable, which is found in Luke chapter 10, that he will come back to take us home in 2,000 years. As we also know, the plagues will soon come to destroy all life on earth, and plague number seven is actually 125-pound chunks of hail. The prophet Hosea also said God's people will be raised up at the start of the prophesied 1,000 years of Satan's wandering, you know, among the dead that he tempted in our generation. And this is not only... 2,000 years from the ascension of Christ in 31 AD, we see that Hosea also calls the day God's people are to ascend to heaven the third day for our God, the Father. And so that too matches up with the 2,000-year timeline and the prophetic parable of Christ. But here's where it gets interesting. As Christians, we know that Jesus comes on the clouds of heaven we also know the Vatican has had a telescope named Lucifer in Arizona, which is focused in on the Orion Nebula for decades. That being the case, were you aware that scientists have already photographed a great cloud coming out from the Orion Nebula? On top of all this, Satan is right now using the Pope to do all he can to enforce the mark of the beast with the buy and sell portion of the prophecy by the year 2027. And he's going to be doing this using his long prophesied climate change agenda, which is right now being set in stone with corrupt legal maneuvers using the genocidal COVID-19 vaccine as a way to also bring about what they now call the Great Reset under the prophesied socialist global format that is needed to enforce the mark of the beast. And to assure this works perfectly for them and for the Pope, they have been working for decades to bring about a global digital currency so as to better control the people and their finances when they can legally prevent their buying and selling worldwide. And this is only done upon those that are refusing to keep the Pope's man-made Sabbath of Sunday. Satan is also moving the Pope to set up and then demand a one-world government controlled by the beast system in Rome by 2030, which students of prophecy know fulfills the one hour with the beast which happens at the end of plague six and then common sense also dictates that at the end of plague six is obviously the start of plague seven which is in fact the prophesied 125 pound chunks of hail that fall on all the wicked the world over at the second coming of christ which kills everyone on earth that denied jesus christ as lord 
That all being said, notice this article that confirms a comet is traveling towards Earth right now. I would think that everyone knows comets are made of ice, right? This massive chunk of hail is expected to cross Earth's orbit in the exact same year Satan is moving the Pope to have his one world government in 2030. As we know, the one world government is only going to last 15 days at the end of Plague 6, because one hour with the beast is 15 days. This then means, directly after that plague ends, the seventh and final plague of hail ends all life on earth. Again, no need to set dates, as Satan and his Pope have already done that. All I can do is share the order of the prophesied events. We know what's coming next, we just don't know when. It's the Pope who's trying to set the dates for his agenda. And if his date coincides with the Lord's plans, well, then so be it. If not, then it's going to happen a little sooner or a little later. I'm only putting out there the prophetic facts as they are already penned in the Word of God, which we can see how they do actually match current events in our day. And yes, I will go into a lot more detail in the sermon when the Lord allows are you truly ready for the return of Christ? I mean, have you made your path straight for the coming of the Lord? If not, well, then i got to warn you, the plagues of revelation will most assuredly fall upon you very soon. But if you are an obedient Christian who has overcome their sin, you are soon to experience the latter rain. The latter rain falls before they enforce the mark, and if they get their way, they're going to enforce the mark in 2027. The latter rain falls before they do that. And when we get that letter rain, we're going to go forth to declare the final message unto all the world. Thank you for watching. God bless.